Hey guys, how are you? It's Graham. So I'm now living in New York City and I just got some footage of some stores that I've been in in the past and then some stores that I went for the first time kind of on video to show you guys around. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you enjoy the video, it would mean a lot if you liked it and subscribed to it. it helps me out a ton. Comment what your favorite store is that I went to and yeah. So we're actually going to kick this video off in upstate New York, in Hudson specifically, at Lux Optique. Now, usually I go to this store to look at the Jacques Marie Maj, but I was very surprised to see that they actually had a whole wall of chrome hearts, and I've never really spent a lot of time interacting with the brand. I've always felt like it's not really my vibe with the whole motorcycle dark aesthetic. And so I haven't necessarily written it off as I really respect the craftsmanship behind the metalworking, the jewelry, the furniture, but the merchandise, the clothing definitely doesn't interest me. Meridian is one of my favorite stores. They carry all sorts of tiny brands that the owner, Sam, is extremely passionate about. While I didn't get a lot of footage on this visit, I would love to make a video going more into depth about their selection, and I really suggest you check out their website. Regina's is one of my favorite lunch spots, and they make some of the best Italian sandwiches downtown. At Kith, we were checking out the Needles selection along with the R Legacy, which is a brand that sort of interests me in terms of its popularity over the years. In particular, this button down at the back with the interesting dyeing pattern really caught my attention. I feel like Billionaire Boys Club is often overlooked due to its sort of hype beasty association. They always have an obviously amazing selection of human made because of Pharrell's connection to Nego. I also really enjoy looking at the neighborhood incense chambers. Second Street is a bit of a love-hate relationship. I think they're great in terms of the fact that you can buy used, but you have got to know what you are buying because there are so many fakes that go through these locations, so please be careful. I really enjoyed this distressed denim set from Acne, but something that bothers me a lot about the brand lately is that most of it isn't salvage anymore, except like the brand new undistressed denim. are the hickory striped chore coat and the varsity jacket just really blew me away. They both are just stunning and I wish I could buy them. At Standard and Strange, I was checking out the Visvim as always, but this sort of tour of all these stores was really for Charlie to show him around downtown to some of my favorite shops, and it was really enjoyable to be able to walk him through sort of 
all the products I like, all the brands I like, and give them the lore. I really enjoyed talking to the staff here, and I feel like every time I visit, I find something new with how many different products they offer. At Self Edge, I spent most of my time trying on belts, which I'm still undecided on, so make sure and drop a comment below if you have a belt recommendation. But they also carry a ton of Warehouse & Co, which is my favorite brand for t-shirts. This short sleeve button up by Studio de Artisan with the Sashiko and Mud Dye really caught my eye. At Luke's, there's always something you didn't know existed. This time around, it was a Baby Milo button up with the Chrome Hearts treatment. As you can see, there's tons of footwear and lots of America's Cups specifically, but unsurprisingly, I really would like to get those Shaman Christos someday. This dusty zip up is from the 90s, and the back hit on it, the color blocking, it's amazing. The only issue is the lining is pretty chewed up inside. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. It's kind of difficult to get these out every week, but it's been a really fulfilling process so far. And I just wanted to say thank you for 500 subscribers. It really means the world to me that other people care about this passion as much as I do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in next week's video.